We hit the first half action at Sussex County Community College, and Sean Dowd scores here for Brookdale to give the Jersey Blues an early 2-0 lead over the Skylanders in this key Region 19 class. But SCCC star Dion Queen has an answer here with this move to the bucket, and we were all tied at two. SCCC bumps its lead here. Watch Earl Chang of Sparta ferry this long three-pointer for the Skylanders to make it 7-4. But the Jersey Blues knock the game at seven here, getting three points the old-fashioned way as Sean Dowd scores down low and gets fouled for Brookdale. Now watch Dion Queen spot up for the Skylanders and he delivers from way downtown, and this three-pointer gives the Skylanders a 12-9 lead. Okay, Earl Chang, who had a big night, helps turn SEC's defense into offense here as he caps the run out for the Skylanders as they take an 18-11 lead over the Jersey Blues. But the Jersey Blues cut into the deficit here. Watch his great look by Will McDonough as he finds Christian Chamberlain and Sussex leads 26-25 at the half. Okay, second half we go and Earl Chang sticks this put back to the Skylanders and SCCC leads by 3, 30-27. Brookdale battles back and takes the lead here when D1 prospect Will McDonough cans this baseline jag and the Jersey Blues take a 31-30 lead. Demetrius Borch, however, has an answer as the Jersey City product gets the hoop and the harm and Sussex Lee takes the lead 32-31. Okay, Earl Chang is back to his little tricks for the Skylanders here, folks. Chang hits this little floater in the lane and Sussex takes a 35-32 lead. Then Chang caps this foul line jumper and gets the roll to extend Sussex lead to 9, 44, 35 as Sussex looks to pull away. But the Jersey Blues make it a six point game here as Christian Chamberlain hits this baseline jumper and Sussex leads 46, 40. Sussex is able to keep the Jersey Blues at bay here as Dion Queen gets this piece here off the steal and it's a 10 point game, 50 to 40 Skyland. And the Skyland is making 54, 42 here as Kwame Abraham cans this long jumper for the Skyland. Now watch the big guy from Brookdale, Derek Starling, power up and score down low. And Brookdale now trails only by 6, 54-48. And the Jersey Blues make it a 5-point game here as Revere Batista scores. And Sussex holds a 57-52 lead as time ticks away in the second half. But Kwame Abraham hits his big jump stop in the lane to secure the win as the Skylanders hold on to a 65-58 victory to keep their Region 19 postseason dreams alive. At halftime, all we said is we have 20 minutes left of our season. So we can come out and play with some intensity or we can keep sleepwalking. And these guys came out and as you can see, the intensity picked up and we, we won a basketball game against a pretty good team. We didn't play that great, but um, at the end we stuck together and we played through it. First half, you know, we had a couple easy mistakes, things like that. We picked it up in the second half, really. And we just played together. That's what helped us win tonight. Big win, real big win. We needed it. 7-1 uh, in our last games, a couple games. So uh, we got to go down to Atlantic Cape. We had a tough one in the first half tonight, so, you know. The key during this run has been their hustle and intensity, according to Coach Cornell Thomas and the players. Intensity and defense. Uh, over here, you know, this plays that we didn't look like we were playing defense, but um, our intensity and our defense is a lot different than the first semester. And the fact, you know, Ty Johnson, Earl Chang, they bring some more athleticism to our team. And uh, Demetrius and Deion are, are stepping up a little bit, playing a little bit better. Hustling, working hard, coming to practice, get ready to play games, get our mind in there and um, just playing together. Demetrius Boards might be a little undersized, but he's terrific down low for the Skylanders. My role is just to go out there and play hard. Um, yeah, I'm the leading scorer and rebound, I mean the leading rebounder, but you know, my job is just to come out there and play big, you know. Coach always tells us, you know, 10 feet is 10 feet, no matter, you know, where we play at, the rim's still the rim, so you know, we just gotta play no matter how big our opposition is and our opponents are, we just gotta be physical, post them. Demetrius held, I mean, McDonough had 11 points. He's average about 20 some points a game. Uh, he had 20 points against us in a half down there at Brookdale. So Demetrius played great on him. The thing with Demetrius, he's always, it's tough because we want him to play hard, we want him to rebound, we want him to do, you know, all these things for us, but he's playing two big guys. And he's like, you know, besides Jaleel, he's our really only big guy, you know, so, he, I mean, he's our most athletic guy, too, so he has a tough spot. If they have two big guys, he's going to get banged around all night. So he, it takes a special kind of toughness and heart to do that against two big guys every night and never complain about it, which we like. One of those players that brings a ton of energy to the floor is Earl Chang from Sparta. Earl is a special player because of his athleticism. He has a special athleticism. Earl's main thing we try to get him to do every night is focus. And if he plays focus, he's, I mean, he's very hard to guard and he's great on defense, you know, but that's the main thing. He's been off for a year, so there's still some rust in there and he hasn't played the first semester. So once, I think he's just, his best basketball is yet to come. I think after we, you know, go down a couple more weeks, he's going to be playing even better than he did tonight. Coach t tells me when I get out there, bring energy, look to make hustle plays, get on the ground, scrap. You know, sometimes I got to guard the best player, the fastest player, and, you know, 
my team. Without my team, we don't, you know, we don't get anything. Sussex has two games left, and if they win, they're in the Region 19 tournament after making a great run to the final last year. Bergen did it last year. They were a seventh seed. They came in, they beat us in the finals. We were a fourth seed, and they went to the national tournament, won the first two games down there. And that's what I'm telling these guys. You know, we can do the same thing. We can come in there as the lowest seed. We've beat most of the teams at the top, come out there and surprise people, and then go out there and go to the national tournament. So that's what we're looking to do. We're getting ready. We're focused. We're ready. After tonight, you know, we got to clean some things up and, um, you know, get ready to go down to Atlantic and uh, get another win.